Hi everyone, it's Gloss Genius here. Today I'm going to walk you through how to fill out the Cross River Bank SBA PPP loan application hosted here on the Cross River website. So you can see here at the top, there's a few steps that we need to take and it won't take us very long because we prepared everything in advance. If you didn't have a moment to prepare things in advance, it's okay. Cross River made this process very straightforward and it shouldn't take too long no matter what. Okay, so we're gonna start with step one, general business information. I want you guys to know that I'm filling out test information. These are just placeholders to walk you through the process. Make sure that the information you're entering is aligned with your business and accurate. Okay, so general business information, and then you're gonna fill out some additional business information. It's important that you have an accurate NAICS code. If you don't have that code on hand, that's completely fine. Cross River added a link here that'll send you to a directory where you can look up your industry code. Once you find that code, you can go back to the website and fill in that six digit code. Okay, and business address, and then you're gonna click next. Great, so now we're gonna do owner information. We're gonna say our principal owner is Kayla Bates. Okay, enter social. If you have more than one owner, there's a section down here where you can add an additional owner. So Kayla's 100% owner. All right, and you're gonna to wanna to have your owner's driver's license because later in the application, you're gonna need to upload a copy of that license. All right, now we're gonna click next. So give the system some time to process the information. It should take up to 30 seconds, but don't worry if it takes a little bit longer, just give the system some time to process. And this is a test environment, so it's gonna let me through, but obviously if you haven't put the correct information, it's got, not gonna let you go through at this time. All right, so now we're moving on to application eligibility. Gonna ask us a few questions. Has anyone been suspended? No. All right, no. Okay, so for these two questions, it's okay if you answer yes. You'll just need to give them additional information. But for us, they're no, so I'm gonna put no. All right, moving on to our next step. So here you're gonna download the Payment Protection Program Calculator. I've downloaded it for us already, and some of you may already have gotten started with this document because we emailed it to you. No problem at all if you haven't had a chance to go through it. I'm gonna walk you through it now. So first tap on the second tab of the calculator that says worksheet. All right, now let's fill this out together. You're gonna to start by filling out today's date, business name, EIN, and the name of the individual completing the form. Were you in business for a full year in 2019? Yes. Are you a highly seasonal business? No. Um, so if you are a highly seasonal business, you can still apply for the loan. It's just a bit of a different process. Okay, are you an excluded business? No, we have 30 employees. Great, all right, so I understand that in order for the loan to be forgiven, that the business must spend at least 75% of the loan on payroll costs. Have the same number of employees, da -da -da. yes. And yes, I will provide the required documents later in the application. So here's where you're gonna enter the annual payroll costs, and then the calculator will automatically calculate the monthly expense for you right here. All right, so let's say we had about 400,000 payroll costs last year. Okay, and the next section here is gonna be about how many people in this total are earning over 100,000. And we need to subtract if they're earning above 100000 This is only going to help us for salaries up to 100000 So if someone is making, let's say, for example, 150000 we need to go take that fifty and add all of them up here. So that 50000 Great. And 
no outstanding balance of EIDL loans, so we're going to leave that zero. All right, so a few confirmations. Yes, I confirm that the data I entered is true and accurate. Yes. And voila. All right, so now it's giving me my qualifying payroll, less exclusions, okay, and then it puts it into the multiplier, and now I have the total loan amount that my loan could be. So this information you're going to put into the website on the application, but before we do that, we need to fill out what we're going to use the loan loans for. So we're going to do 80% payroll, 10% utilities, and 10% rent. Awesome. So now we're at 100% perfect. So because we hit 100% here and based on, on this, our loan will be forgiven because we're using 80% of this loan for payroll. Okay, so now we're going to transfer these numbers over to our website and I'm going to split the screen. So the loan, we're going to use it for, we said payroll, rent, utilities. Average monthly payroll amount is going to be the qualifying payroll here. And we have no outstanding EIDL loans and total loan request amount is going to be that maximum PPP low amount that you just calculated. All right. Great. So we're going to click next step. Now we're on step five. Step five is going to show you the information that you already entered. So it's a great time to triple check. If you notice any mistakes, you can click edit here. It's going to ask you to confirm your identity, a list of application terms for you to review. And once you reviewed it, you tap I agree and confirm to all the statements above and submit your e-signature. Awesome. We are so close to being done. It's the final step. We're uploading those required documents that we told you about. Hopefully you have them already. If not, no problem. We can get them ready and I'll walk you through them now. Okay, so first is the bank st statements. Make sure your bank statements are in PDF form. And then here are the rest of your documents. You have your driver li license for Kayla Bates, that owner, voided check, proof of payroll, that calculator that you just filled out, and your most recent tax return, which is optional. A quick note about proof of payroll is that if you're a sole proprietor and you don't have employees, you can also upload your form, the 1040 Schedule C here as well, okay? All right, so I'm gonna upload those documents. All right, so then you need to name the document, so we'll go through it. So now I checked off all five, I'm ready to go to the next step. Again, this might take a few seconds while your files are uploading. Amazing, our application is complete, guys. There is nothing else you need to do right now at this time. You're gonna receive an email within the next 72 hours with your loan decision, and Cross River has your application now. So all of the, the communication moving forward about your loan will come directly from Cross River Bank since they're processing your application. Again, there's nothing else that you need to do here. They'll be able to see that it's complete and the, they will be working directly with the SBA to submit this to the SBA and fund the loan themselves. Thank you.